Hello everyone. Today we will discuss how to create a simple login application in Android using web server and MySQL databases. We will use retrofit library for server communication. So let's start. First of all, run your WAM server, right click and run as administrator. Wait for some time. Now click yes. The server is being started. And here you can see the icon is green so the server has been started successfully. Now click this icon and go to PHP MyAdmin page. Click go and create a new database. Give it a name. Let's sample underscore login underscore app underscore db and create. So the database has been created. Now I am going to create a user table within this database. So click SQL. Since I have already prepared script for table creation, so I am going to copy this script and execute here. Click go. So you can see a user table has been created with three columns. Username, password and an auto incremented ID. Now insert a record Put a username here, let's admin and a password admin. And from this drop down, select MD5 so that the password stored in an encrypted form and click go. So record has been inserted. Now going to C drive WAMP folder www folder and create a new project give it a name let's simple underscore login underscore app now i have prepared two php file connect and login i am going to copy these two files and paste in the new created project. Connect.php file is having all the configuration, server name, username, password and database name. While login.php file is communicating with the database and getting a user from the user table. Here you can see I am executing a query which is retrieving a user from the user table. And if the query is executed successfully, I am getting user info in an array response. And here you can see I am storing some additional information. So if user is retrieved successfully from the database, I am storing log in successfully message at index message in response array. And if username or password is incorrect, then I am storing this message at message index in response array. And if the required parameters are missing, then I am storing this message. So I will consume this script in the Android application and will get this array in the form of JSON object. So now going to Android Studio, 
This is the project that I have already created in the Android Studio. So first of all, you will have to add these three dependencies in the build.gradle file of the project. These dependencies are required to use retrofit library. Then you will have to provide internet permission in the manifest file of the project above the application tag. Then here you can see three files, login activity, retrofit client and user service interface. Retrofit client is a class which is having get retrofit instance this get retrofit instance method. This method will return an instance of the retrofit class and since the method is a, stat, is a static method, so it will be called with the name of this class. And here you can see a URL. Basically, this is the IP address of my machine and simple underscore login underscore app. This is the project name that I have just created in the www folder. Here you can see name of the project. The second file is user service interface. This is an interface which is having signature of login method. Login method is expecting two parameters username and password. And here you can see I am using post method which is a commonly used method for login operation. And here you can see a script named login.php. So here you can see login.php file which is hosting on the server. You will have to provide this name here in the interface which is having login method. Now coming towards the login activity, I am going to show you the XML file. So this is the user interface. Here you can see two text fields, one for username and the other for password and a button. So in the login activity I am getting all these fields and then call a function when login button is clicked. And here you can see I am passing two parameters username and password which, which is I am, I am getting from the XML file. So, going to the login function, here you can see I am getting instance of the retrofit class and then with that instance I am calling login function. Here you can see I am overriding two methods on response and on failure. If communication with the remote server is fail then this method is called and if communication is succeeded then on response method is called and if I get response a valid response then this condition will be true and I will get a JSON object. Then here you can see I am getting message from the JSON object which is stored at key message. So actually this key is the same which is in the PHP script. So I will get logged in successfully message or invalid username or password or required parameters are missing in the 
मैसेज इंडेक्स सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू रन द कोड राइट क्लिक ऑन द लॉग इन एक्टिविटी एंड रन एट सो हियर यू कैन सी द एप्लीकेशन हैज बीन रन सक्सेसफुली नाउ लेट्स टेस्ट एट put a username admin and a password admin and click login button so here you can see the message is logged in successfully this message is actually coming from the server here you can see i have stored this message in the response array and i am getting from here now if i change the password let's i am putting a wrong password 123 and click login button so here you can see a message invalid username or password i have also documented this tutorial in a post so the link is in the description from here you can also see all these steps So that's it for this tutorial thank you